वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू क्लास थ्री मैथ्स चैप्टर फाइव डिविजन सेशन फाइव पॉइंट थ्री टूडे वी विल डू प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ डिविजन लेट एस लुक एट द डिविजन सम ट्वेंटी फोर डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर ना दिस इज रिटन ऑरिजोंटली इफ वी राइट इट वर्टिकली वी ड्रॉ द डिविजन सिम्बल वी राइट ट्वेंटी फोर इन साइड सिक्स आउटसाइड सिक्स विल गो फोर टाइम्स इन ट्वेंटी फोर सो वी राइट फोर ऑन टॉप ट्वेंटी फोर एट द बॉटम we subtract and we get 0 6 is called the divisor 24 is called the dividend 4 is called the quotient 0 is called the remainder properties of division when a non zero number is divided by itself the quotient is 1 example 8 divided by 8 is equal to 1 here the dividend and the divisor both are same numbers they could be any number it could be 24 divided by 24 or 9 divided by 9 every time we will get the answer as 1 second property when a number is divided by 1 the quotient is the number itself example 7 divided by 1 is equal to 7 here the divisor is 1 so whenever the divisor is 1 the dividend and the quotient will be the same numbers the quotient is going to be exact same number as the dividend when the divisor is 1 it could be 8 divided by 1 or 27 divided by 1 whatever number we have taken initially the same number will be the quotient if it is 24 divided by 1 quotient will be 24 third property when zero is divided by a non zero number the quotient is zero Example: zero divided by nine is equal to zero. Dividend is zero. The divisor could be any number. We will always get zero as the quotient. So we could have zero divided by seven, zero divided by eighteen. Every time the quotient would be zero. Division property of zero. Let us try to subtract zero from three. When we subtract one time, we get three. That is the first time we have subtracted. Then we subtract again. Again we are left with three. This is the second time that we subtracted. Again we subtract zero from three. We are left with three, and that is the third time. Like this, you can keep on subtracting, and you will never reach zero at the end. So you cannot actually divide a number by zero. we have seen that every time we subtracted zero from 3 the difference is 3 so like this you can go on and on and on till infinity but you will not be able to get zero that is why we cannot divide any number by zero now children you are ready to do worksheet 5.3 these concepts were very easy let us just brush them up with these questions fill in the place holders Question one: Nine divided by one is equal to dash. Question two: Zero divided by five is equal to dash. Question three: Twenty-one divided by dash is equal to twenty-one. Question four: Dash divided by seven is equal to one. Question five: Dash divided by one is equal to one. Now solutions to worksheet five point three. Question one: Nine divided by one is equal to nine. Question two: Zero divided by five is equal to zero. Question three: Twenty-one divided by dash is equal to twenty-one. Here it will be twenty-one divided by one is equal to twenty-one. Question four: Dash divided by seven is equal to one. Here we will get seven divided by seven is equal to one. Question five: Dash divided by one is equal to one. One divided by one is equal to one. This brings us to the end of the video. If you got all five questions correct, do give a like to the video and let me know your name in the comment section. Until we meet again, stay happy and keep learning.